Hello and welcome to your math lesson today. We are discussing chapter one, lesson three, patterns and powers of 10. If you haven't already, please complete the math for today. I will link the video here for that math for today video. Okay, in today's lesson, we will begin with some warm up lessons. Um, the learning target, and setting up our notebooks. I will then teach you a focus lesson, how to do it, and then you will try it on your own. There'll be a problem of the day or a benchmark problem, um, and then we'll have your homework and exit ticket or reflection. Let's get ready. Go ahead and set up your notebooks. Your learning target for today is I can write numbers using exponents. And by the end of this lesson, your notes should look something like mine. You see at the top, I have my learning target. I can write numbers using exponents. I've used my two column notes. On the left hand side, I have some notes, um, how to guide me, how to do the problems. And on the right hand side, I have some practice problems for me to do on my own. So if you're working with a partner, I want you to work together on this. You're working by yourself, pause the video and press play when you're ready to continue. It says to write a multiplication expression to answer each question. So I see the base 10 blocks in front of me. I see a thousand cube, a flat for the hundreds, a rod and a unit cube. So how many units are in one rod? 10. So there's 10 units in one rod. So in one rod, there are 10 units. So your expression set should be 1 times 10 units. Pause the video and do the next ones on your own. Or if you're working with a partner, y'all work together. So if there are 10 units in one rod, how many units are in 10 rods. 10 rods multiplied by 10 units because 10 times 10 would be 100. How many units are in 100 rods? So remember, if there's 10 units in one rod, I want to know how many are in 100 rods. So you should have written the 10 times 100 units. How many units are in 1,000 rods? So again, there's 10 in one rod. And I need to multiply that by 1,000, correct? So 10 times 1,000. How many 10s are in 100? How many 10s are in 1,000? And how many tens are in 10,000? If you're working by yourself or with a partner, pause the video here and press play when you're ready to continue. Okay, there are 10 tens in 100, 100 tens in 1,000, and 1,000 tens in 10,000. Great job, let's continue. All right, now I'm gonna show you how it's done. Key idea here is a power is a product of repeated factors. The base of a power is, re is a repeated factor. The exponent of a power gives the number of times that the base is used as a factor. Let's look at this example. So this number here, 10 to the fifth power. 10 to the fifth is the power, both of those numbers together. The base is the 10 that is gonna be multiplied by itself. So 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. The five is the exponent, which tells you how many times to multiply the base. So the 10 is used as a factor five times. 
the exponent is 5. Okay, here's another example. Write this in your notebook. Write the product 10 times 10 times 10 as a power. Remember, this is the power. Okay, both of those numbers together. The base number, okay, is the number that's going to be multiplied by itself. And the 5 is the um, exponent, okay, which was telling me how many times to multiply the 10. So let's look at this example. We have how many 10s here? 1, 2, 3. So my exponent is 3, and 10 is the number that's being multiplied by itself. So 10 is the base number. Its value is 1,000. So 10 is used as a factor three times, and the exponent is 3. So 10 times 10 times 10 can be written as 10 to the third power. And that is the power, both of those numbers together. Let's continue. Okay, here's another example. I want you to find the value of 4 times 10 to the third power. Now, when it says to find the value, you're solving the expression, okay, to find the value, how much is worth. So you would need to multiply 4 by powers of 10. Let's look for a pattern here. So 4 times 10, this says to the first power, but you can just write 4 times 10. And 4 times 10 equals 40. Okay, let's look at this one. 4 times 10 to the second power, or 4 times 10 times 10 equals 400. 4 times 10 to the third power, that's telling me to do what? Multiply the tens by itself three times. So 4 times 10 times 10 times 10. Well, 10 times 10, I know is 100. And 100 times 10 is 1,000. So 1,000 times 4 is 4,000. Every time you multiply by a number, 10, the number shifts one position to the left in a place value chart. So 4 times 10 to the third power is 4,000. I want you to notice the pattern. In each product, the number of zeros after 4 is equal to the exponent. So 2, there's two zeros. 3, there's three zeros. Let's continue. Number one, can you identify the base, the exponent, and the power for the expression 10 to the sixth power? If you're working by yourself or with a partner, please pause the video and press play when you're ready to move on. All right, so the 10 is the larger number. The six is my exponent. It's gonna tell me how many times to multiply that number. So my base is 10, my exponent is six, and the power is both of these numbers together, 10 to the sixth power. Number two, write the product 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 as a power. So we know that a product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So if I multiplied all of these numbers together, right, 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. And 1,000 times 10, okay, is 10,000. But I wanna write that as a power. So what does that look like? How many zeros do I have? Four. So it would be 10 to the fourth power. Number three, let's find the value of five times 10 to the second power. So I know that 10 times 10, 
10 times 10. I'm going to do that twice because that's a 2 right there. 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 5 is 500. So that is the value. Now I want you to try it. Find each product. Use patterns to help you. So number four, two times 10 is, two times 100 is, two times 1,000, and two times 10,000. Number five is nine times 10, nine times 100, nine times 1,000, and nine times 10,000. Pause the video here and press play when you're ready to move on. Okay, two times 10 is 20, two times 100 is 200, two times 1,000 is 2,000, and two times 10,000 is 20,000. Number five, nine times 10 is 90, nine times 100 is 900, 9 times 1,000 is 9,000, and 9 times 10,000 is 90,000. Find the value of each expression. So number 7. Okay, so we have 10 to the fourth power. So if you write 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, what is the value? So 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. And 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, this has 6 times 10 to the fifth power. Well, what does this tell me to do? I need to multiply 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Well, if I know that 10 to the fourth power is 10,000, okay, 10,000 times 10 is 100,000. But I'm not done yet. Six times 100,000 is 600,000. All right, 10 to the second power. That's telling me to multiply 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is how many zeros? Two, it's 100. 100 times seven is 700. Here we go, the next one. We need to figure out 10 to the fourth power. Okay, we know that 10 to the fourth power is 10,000. So five times 10,000 is 50,000. Very good, okay? 11, can you rewrite the number as a whole number multiplied by a power of 10? So let's do 11 together, okay? We have how many zeros here, okay? I'll give you a moment to figure it out on your own. Pause the video and press play when you're ready to move on. Okay, so you can count your zeros here because remember we said that the exponent um, relates to the number of zeros. So we could say 10 to the fourth power. We could say 10 to the second power. And we could say 10 to the fifth power. But we're not done, okay? Because this two has a value. So we would need to multiply it by that number. The five has a value, okay? And so does the nine. Okay. 
So you should be recording these um, answers in your notebook or your textbook. Let's move on. Write the number in expanded form using exponents. Okay, so they did the first one for us. So the five is value is 50,000. The three is in the thousands place. The one is in the hundreds place. The two is in the tens place and the four is in the ones place. So let's write these out, okay? Um, because they're wanting us to do it in expanded form and we need to do a power. We need to write it with the power. So they did the first one for us. Three, how many zeros? One, two, three. So that would be three times 10 to the third power. How many zeros? One, two, that would be one times 10 to the second power. And I see one zero here, two times 10, you could say to the first power or just leave it. You don't have to put the one. And then four is in the ones place, okay? The next number, they did the first one for us. The eight is in the hundreds place. The six is in the tens place and the two is in the ones place. So we have eight times 10 to the second power. We have six times 10 because it's in the tens place. You don't have to put the one or you can if you want to. And the two is in the ones place. So your answer should look something like this written in expanded form. Okay. In your book, you're using the Big Ideas Math book, it says that Newton and Descartes are running for mayor. How many people voted in the election? You need to find the number of votes for each candidate. So Newton's is written as a power and Descartes is written out in expanded form. So we need to figure out what this means. What is the value? So 10 to the fifth power, that is 10 times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10. So 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. And 10,000 times 10 is 100,000. Wow, that's a lot of people. Okay. Descartes says nine times 10 to the fourth power. Well, we already did that. So we have 100 times 10 is 1,000. So that would be 10 times 10 times 10. And 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. So the value is 100,000 and 90,000. But the question said, how many people voted in the election? So we need to add them together. Okay, and we get 190,000 people voted in the election. A surf shop has been in business for two years. What are the total sales? Okay, we see total sales. So when I see total, that's telling me I need to add stuff together here. So it says total sales for year one and year two combined. So same thing as the example, we're gonna to have to figure out what the value is and then add them together. So pause the video here and press play when you're ready to continue. Okay, so 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Well, 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. And 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. So that's year one. Year two. So we've already figured out 10,000 is up here. And that's 10 to the fourth power. But now it's asking 10 to the fifth power. So let's multiply one more time. 10,000 times 10, well, that is 100,000. OK, 
Okay, but we're not done yet because we need to combine them. 100,000 plus 10,000, okay? But we have to multiply 100,000 times six and you should get 600,000 plus, okay, that value plus 10,000, okay? And what do you get? Six hundred ten thousand. Very good. Let's continue. Which migration is farther? And then it says about how much. So that is telling me I'm going to have to subtract. But first, we need to figure out what is this value and what is this value? Well, 10 to the third power, 10 times 10 times 10. Okay, I see three zeros, so that is 1,000. 1,000 times four is 4,000. And 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 is 10,000. 10,000 times two is 20,000. Which one is farther? So I'm gonna have to take 20,000 and subtract 4,000. Okay, I'll give you a moment to do the math. Okay, so we have zero, zero, zero. Okay, we're going to borrow here. 10 minus 4 is 6, and we have 1. Okay, 16,000. So which migration is farther? The leatherback turtles. And about how much farther is it? 16,000. Let's dig a little deeper. A human has about 10 to the fourth power taste buds. A cow has about three times as many taste buds as a human. About how many taste buds does a cow have? Write your answer as a whole number multiplied by a power of 10. So I'll give you a moment if you're working by yourself or with a partner, pause the video here and, can, and press play when you're ready to continue. So let's figure out 10 to the fourth power. That's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So that equals 10,000. So that's for the human, okay? Now it says that a cow has about three times as many taste buds. Okay, so that'll be three times 10,000, which should be about 30,000. Then it says to write my answer as a whole number multiplied by the power of 10. Well, my answer is 30,000. So that should be right here, okay? three times 10,000 or three times 10 to the power of one, two, three, four. Okay, very good. All right, we're almost to the end. Your homework this evening, please complete chapter one, lesson three in your Big Ideas textbook. And please complete your Khan Academy assignments. And you made it to the end of the lesson. If you have any questions, please ask your teacher. Otherwise, have a wonderful day.